Hey, what's up? This is Jay Lucky Henry. So today, we're going to talk about six key facts, or six requirements, I would say, for down payment assistance grants. You ready? They ask me how I know it'll be okay. This is Jay Lucky Henry, Keller Williams agent in the greater Boston area, and I want to help everyone get real. R-E-A-L, Real Estate Explained, amazingly, by Lucky, in 90 seconds, give or take. Welcome back, it's Jay Lucky Henry. So today we're talking about down payment assistance grants and we're talking about the six key facts or the six requirements. So number one, right, is the actual sales price of the house, right? And these are not in any particular order. These are just six things that you gotta worry about when you're getting down payment assistance for a grant. It's the sales price of the house. It can't cost too much. It's gotta be within a certain price range, right? Then your income. So this is gonna vary state to state. All six of these requirements are gonna vary state to state, um, depending on where you are, etc. But the income that you make can't also be too high. Now, what's the right amount? You gotta check with your local guidelines. Places you can find this are the HUD website, right, and the Department of Housing. So after your income, your credit score. Now, just because they're giving you some money, right, a grant is just that, giving you some money, right, for the purpose of whatever you're trying to accomplish, doesn't mean they don't wanna check, make sure that you're credit worthy, right? Because they, even though they're giving you that money without the expectation of you repaying it back, they do want to make sure that you can keep the house and they don't want to just give money to any and everybody, right? Well, they do want to give it to everybody, but people who are worthy of it, of course. In addition to the credit, the other thing that we got to take into consideration is the geographical location as to where you're living. So sometimes you need to live in a very rural area or a certain city or a certain metropolitan area. It all depends on what type of grant you're getting for where and what purpose. Well, the purpose we know is buying a house, right? On top of the geographical area, you have to be a first time home buyer. So that's number five. You gotta be a first time home buyer. It can't be your second home, can't be. And what do you consider a first time home buyer? It's there's gonna be something that's gonna be your number six, your primary residence. So Sometimes you might have bought a house a long, long time ago and you're like, hey, technically, you know, I've been renting for 20 years. I'm basically a first time home buyer. Check your, check your local laws on how they do, how they classify that. But you gotta be a first time home buyer, which is number five. And number six, it's gotta be a primary residence. You gotta live there majority of the time. Can't be an investment property that you don't live in. It can be if you live in it. So if you live in the first floor and rent out the other floors, it could be that. So those are the six requirements for down payment assistance grants. If you have more questions, visit that website. We're gonna put the link down below in the description. It's the HUD website, Department of Housing, local to your area. If you're in Boston, give me a call and I'll help you out, all right? It's been real, it's been 90, gotta go. We'll be back tomorrow with another video. This is Jay Lucky Henry, and I'm here to keep it real with you. Whether you're looking to buy, sell, or invest in real estate, call or text 978-712-0244 and make sure you subscribe to my channel for more.